As we all know, the NBA is filled with amazing and talented basketball players. But out of these exceptional players, you may wonder who the worst player is. Today we are going to be talking about one of the worst NBA players in NBA history. Hey guys, it's Spencer from Hooper's Highlights. Today we're going to be talking about one of the worst players in the NBA. Stick around to the end of the video to find out who we are talking about today. But before we get into the video, I ask that you please go down below and hit that like button to help our channel grow. With that being said, let's get right into the video. Getting to the NBA is one of the most impressive things an individual can do. There are only 496 players in the 2019 to 2020 roster list. This means that no matter what your performance in the NBA is, you are considered an elite player by almost every possible measurement you can think of. With that being said, today we are going to be talking about a number one draft pick that didn't quite play like people thought he would. Today we are going to be talking about Cleveland Cavaliers number one overall pick, Anthony Bennett. Many fans would consider Anthony Bennett the biggest bust in NBA history, and I'm going to explain why. In high school, Anthony Bennett was one of the most dominant forwards in the nation. He averaged 14.5 points, 7.7 .7 rebounds the senior season, playing for both Harold M. Braithwaite Secondary School in Canada, as well as Findlay Prep in Nevada during his high school playing days. Bennett was ranked the seventh best player in the nation for 2012 graduates. After high school, Anthony Bennett went D1 to play for University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Throughout various injuries that occurred his first season, Bennett was still able to average 16.1 points, 8.1 rebounds, and 1.1 blocks his first season. So at this point, you might be wondering how he transitions from being one of the greatest high school and college players during this time to becoming one of the biggest NBA busts ever. Just keep watching, you'll find out. After his first season of playing in Nevada for the Rebels, in spite of his injuries in college, Bennett decided to declare for the 2013 NBA draft. Nobody could have expected what happened next. On June 27, 2013, at around 4.30 p.m., Anthony Bennett went first round as the first overall pick in the 2013 draft to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Most expected him to go around a first round pick, so everyone was just extremely surprised by Cleveland's choice. But they didn't think too much of it, they just thought it was a bad pick. It was later stated that the reason Cleveland decided to draft Anthony Bennett number one over the clearly better player Victor Oladipo was because of their needs at the time. Little did they know it was going to be one of the worst draft decisions made to this day in all of sports. Instantly, Anthony Bennett was a huge bust. In his first five games in the NBA, it took Bennett 16 shots to make one single field goal. Another crazy statistic that shows how big of a bust this man was is that it took Bennett 33 games to score double digits in the NBA. Many number one Overall picks scored that in their first game, not over one third of the way through their first NBA season. After this first season in the NBA of averaging 4.2 points, 3 rebounds, and 0.2 blocks per game, the Cavs instinctively traded Bennett to the Minnesota Timberwolves. That next season playing for the Timberwolves, Bennett averaged almost the exact disappointing stats he did the year before. After he played 57 games with the Wolves, they bought out the rest of his contract and waived him. Bennett was later picked up by the Raptors that next season, where he requested to play in the D team after getting little to no minutes. This made him the first ever number one pick in the history to do this. After this, Bennett was picked up one final time by the Brooklyn Nets before exiting the NBA after just his four season playing professional basketball. Throughout his whole career, Anthony Bennett averaged 4.4 points, 3.1 rebounds, and 0.2 blocks per game. This made him the biggest bust in NBA history. To be completely honest, this might have made him the biggest bust in sports history. That's going to wrap up this video, guys. You had to have enjoyed the video at least a little bit if you made it all the way through to the end. If you're not already subscribed, please go down below 
and click the red button so you get notified when we release new basketball videos and content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.